Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. It's time for another handgun showdown where the viewers of this channel decide which firearm manufacturer makes the best handguns. This time we've got Car Arms versus Canic, and I think this one will be a good showdown. But before we do that, let's report the results back from the last handgun showdown. And here we had Sky versus Diamondback. I called this the Battle of the Budgets, and this showdown was extremely close. A lot of people had nice things to say about Diamondbacks, especially this AM2. It's a great handgun, but in the end, Sky pulled it off. It was a tight, tight race the, the whole time through, but Sky got more votes, especially near the end, and they won that handgun showdown. But I think we have a good one here, and I know there will be a lot of people commenting, so let's get to it. Let's start with Car Arms, and we'll begin with their newest bottle. This is a PM9 Covert. Now, the Car PM9 is a little bit smaller with the grip. It still has a 3-inch barrel, but the Covert model has a 7-round magazine. It also offers 3-finger contact on the grip, but a very nice trigger pull, double action only, breaks between 6.5 and, and 7 pounds, extremely smooth, and then there's what you're looking at with the reset. Now, the one thing that Car Arms offers is consistency, extremely small, lightweight, and thin, only 0.9 inches wide on the top of the slide, so it's, it's very thin and you look at that grip they carry so well a lot of people pocket carry the pm9 the pm9 covert is, is new it offers an additional round three finger contact and i think a beautiful gun now this one here has night sights and i i'm just very much impressed with their models i love this one too this is a pm45 3.2 inch barrel five round magazine and 45 acp and it offers that same Six and a half pound trigger pull. You're looking at a double action reset and a very smooth trigger. Now, the triggers with the car is consistent. It doesn't matter if it's a 45 like this, a nine millimeter or a 380, you're getting that same trigger pull that many people love. And I love that 45 ACP. One of the best deals in the car line that I think is the st9 also the s9 a little bit smaller this has a four inch barrel front serrations very nice engraving three dot sights and a magazine that holds eight rounds now it's a single stack all these are single stack that's one of the things that car arms does they make their guns very light very thin so they use single stack mags but once again we're looking at right around six and a half maybe a little bit more with the trigger pull but extremely smooth and this one here has a pick rail it over here has an accessory reel. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but a fine gun. And I, I love all three of them. And I think they will match up very well with Canic. I have two Canics to feature here, the smallest and the largest Canic. Most are in the middle. The TP line on average has a four inch barrel, but what we have here is a Canic TP9 Elite Subcompact. Released not too long ago, like four or five months ago. It's a very nice handgun. It's their smallest model, 3.6 inch barrel, has a magazine that carries 12 rounds. They also offer another mag that has 15 round capacity and a very nice trigger. It's got a red trigger bar safety in there, but I'm measuring it right around five and a quarter pounds, very short reset. But Canics are loaded with features and accessories in the case. So they also come with holsters and optic ready plates so okay it's optic ready but they do have plates that you can add your favorite optic to so that is an option with both of them they also have tungsten cerakote finish slide that i think looks super cool additional back straps a striker fire indicator right there that goes away when the gun is no longer charged a loaded chamber indicator serrated black rear sights front dot and an all-in-all -all nice package here with their subcompact model. I'm very much impressed with the Canic line of handguns. And this new model did not disappoint. Now, this one is a race gun. It's been around for a while. It's the TP9 SFX. This has a whopping 20-round magazine. You can see that it does have the plus two base plate there. 20 rounds and the same very short. Actually, this one feels a little bit lighter with a very short reset but a race gun because it's got a 5.2 inch barrel lightning cuts there fiber optic front sight also has the 
striker fire indicator in the back serrated black rear sights already mentioned fiber optic front sights and this also comes with a holster uh, additional plate because this is optic ready too and Canik says they made this to hit the competition range immediately after picking this up they say you don't need anything else i understand these two companies couldn't be more different with their handguns i did that intentionally to get your thoughts and opinions so which is it is it car arms the small sleek lightweight models with single stacks or is it the larger canics that are double stacks and feature loaded let me know in the comments I'll total them up and report the results back with the next handgun showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.